On today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the spookiest home arcade product on the market. Well, honestly, it's the only horror-themed home arcade product on the market. The At Games Legends Pinball 4KP, the Adams Family Edition. And after owning this thing for about six months and really getting to put it through its paces and play through every game on the machine, I figured it's high time I finally did my review. And of course, it coincides with Halloween Havoc, so what better time to take a look at the Adams Family Legends Pinball 4KP. Hello, YouTube. It's me, it's me. It's Michael B. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. And in today's video, we're finally going to take a look at the At Games Legends Pinball 4KP. I figured it was time, as I've owned the machine for so long now, really got a chance to put it through its paces. And of course, where it is, Adam's Family themed, it's ooky and it's spooky. It's perfect for Halloween Havoc. I want to say a huge thank you to At Games for sending me out the At Games Legends Pinball 4KP for the purpose of this review. I've had a lot of fun with it and I want to share my thoughts on the machine itself as well as the games, especially now that we've got some improvements to the games through recent updates and tell you if I think this is a machine you should consider picking up. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you so much everybody for checking out the video. Guys, I always appreciate the support. This is your first time to the channel. You like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell for notification. All that YouTube jazz. So I want to start by talking about the appearance, and this is one of the nicest looking At Games product to date. Of course, At Games sent me the Adams Family Legends Pinball 4KP because it's the only 4KP that's currently available here in Canada. I, of course, had my eye on the Attack from Mars because I love it when companies recreate original pinball machines like they did with Attack from Mars. My only gripe with this one is the fact that the Adams Family isn't a recreation of the original machine, but I'm told that is due to licensing as the actual license holders, the people who own the rights to the Adams Family wanted something a little bit more modern, so they went with the Zen artwork that Zen put out when they released this table for Pinball FX. So the art is really good. I like the dark green coloring. I like the Adams Family drawings of the actors on the table. I like the logo. Really, my only complaint about the art is they went with a matte finish on the art, where most pinball machines typically use more of a glossy finish that makes the machine kind of shine and look reflective. For some reason, At Games went with a matte finish here. Not a huge deal, but I do find it strange. Another thing I really like is the fact that with this version of the At Games Legends Pinball, they did go with the same powder coating color on both the legs and the grab bars. To me, I think the machine pops because of it. It's very reminiscent of what Stern does with their modern machines, so I love the way this looks. Now a big part of the look is of course the shape, and one of the biggest improvements for the At Games Legends Pinball 4K over the original At Games Legends Pinball, or HD as it's now known, is of course the shape. This one more closely recreates the shape of a real pinball machine and less so of a shopping cart. I mean, that actual girth of the original At Games Legends Pinball, I'm sure it was done to make it less expensive for shipping, but it really made the machine look a little strange. The arcade one up, albeit a smaller screen, had a more natural pinball shape to the actual pinball body. At Games have now corrected this. Another improvement that comes with this machine due to the fact that the body is so much bigger now is the machine is actually a little bit taller. I have been pretty vocal about the fact that I thought the original At Games Legends pinball was a little short. I'm sure many people watched me on stream and heard me complaining about how I felt I was bending over and how my back hurt while playing it. I did feel that the machine was a little short. I had personally taken the casters, extended them all the way up. I still found the machine was short. I even went out and bought the Sega Stern legs and then maxed out those casters. And it was only then that I thought the original At Games Legends Pinball HD was at a relatively comfortable height. But with the At Games Legends Pinball 4K, I can confidently say 
they got it right this time because I have the stock legs on the machine, the casters are still at their base level right to the floor, and I can comfortably play this machine now even for long periods, hour, two hours at a time without noticing any strain on my back. So moving down the cabinet, and of course we're going to start with the front panel, and this is one that created a lot of controversy before the machine actually came out to retail, and thankfully it was redesigned at the 11th hour. I'm sure you all remember, originally the coin door was off-centered, people were losing their mind, they changed that, and now the faux coin door is exactly where it should be, in the center of the front, and we're so much better off for it. Especially since the coin door is the main focal point on the front and it does look very good. You will notice it does feature light up coin slots which are a very nice touch and they actually go an extra mile because these coin slots actually take real coins or tokens. Now they go in the machine and then immediately come out the outside. They don't have any function but it's still cool that you can put a coin in there. You will notice under the coin slots is of course the builder's plate. This is one of the big reasons we had all those problems originally with the look of the front of the machine. The builder's plate was originally going to be on the side which pushed the uh, faux coin door over. And this has come up a lot. A lot of people complain about the builder's plate. They don't really understand its inclusion or what's the point of it. Especially since when the machines came out there was an apparent mix up with numbers where there were versions with the SSFK installed that had different numbers than the other one. I don't really know what the point of the builder plate is. I'm not personally into it, but I will say it is cool looking. It's metal, it's engraved, you can put your hands over, feel the textures of it. It is very nice looking, but it's something that I don't think was really necessary. But if you're into those kind of things, having limited edition collectibles with a plate like this on it, I'm happy for you. Now right above the faux coin door, you will notice the traditional start and home buttons from the At Games Legends pinball. Uh, these are a little bit off center from the coin door and do look a little bit weird, but they function really well, they're easy to reach out to. Now me personally, I would have had these as the two buttons, the light up buttons on the coin door, why they didn't do that. I have no idea, it would have made the machine look a lot more uh, put together, a lot more um, organized and clean, but at the same time, it's not that big a deal, they're easy to reach, I'm happy with them. Now getting down to our big round buttons that we're all familiar with, our normal arcade buttons, at games here, use the same buttons they use on all their other products, which are really high quality Samwa clones. They've got a really nice feel to them. You will notice on the front to the side, there is of course the rewind button that we're all familiar with with at games products. You'll also notice a white button with an up button. This is your front nudge button. Now you can nudge this machine itself, but if you're uh, kind of like me and a nudging idiot, you can just use the buttons to do that and there's your front button. Then on the side, each side is going to have two individual buttons. One button, of course, controls your flippers, while the other ones are your left and right nudge. Now, me personally, I find the buttons really responsive. I like them. I don't feel any need to swap them out, while others have, in fact, modded their machines, swapped them out for what they feel are more responsive gold leaf switches. Uh, me personally, I don't feel the need. I think this might have been more of a need before the latest Zen updates, but you know, if you're into modding, go check out some people that have done that and see for yourself. Of course, we have the control panel right on the front. You won't be able to miss it because it has At Games Legends Pinball 4KP written right across it. Now, this has been a point of contention with a lot of people in the community. They don't like the continuous At Games Legends pinball branding on these machines. Me personally, I don't really give a shit. I would be fine if it was just black. But if you don't like the artwork on the control panel and you want something more customary of, say, a real pinball machine like an apron that usually goes in that area, there are third-party options out there. I know Buy Stuff were making apron art, but At Games are doing it now themselves. So if you don't like the control panel, you can buy something to cover it up. 
Now on the side of the control panel, you are gonna find a little directional pad. Now this directional pad was the bane of my existence with the ALP HD and the ALP Micro because it just didn't work very well. For whatever reason, they put a directional pad on there so it wasn't up and sticking out of the way. But here, what they've done is they've actually revamped the directional button and this one actually works. I have so much of an easier time with navigation, inputting numbers with this, it just works. So there's not as much need to go out and buy the replacement arcade control panel. Now we're starting to get into the real bulk of the machine and one of the big things with upgrading from the ALP HD to the ALP 4K is the fact that this does in fact come with three screens, unlike the Legends Pinball HD that only had two. We of course have the 32 inch play field that is 4K and 60 frames per second. Now most visual pinball hardcore players have been complaining that this screen should have in fact been 120 frames per second. I haven't noticed any issues with the screen or the games playing on it. Me personally, I think it's fine. But if you are one of those people that are used to the more expensive, you know, 4K vis uh, virtual pinball builds at home, this may not be your cup of tea. Again, like I said, I love this screen. I think it looks great. The picture, the colors, everything is bright, vibrant, clear. This is a great screen on this table and meets all my needs for playing these at game 4K pinball games. Now, if you move to the back of the machine, we have a 24 inch back glass screen, which is much larger than the one they had in the Legends HD. I can't remember the size exactly, but this is on par with the back glass screen I had with my Buy Stuff Deluxe Back Box. Now, moving down from there is the screen that wasn't included on the original At Games Legends Pinball HD, something that I think most of us were really happy they included, and that is a third screen DMD. Most pinball machines have a play field, have a back glass, and of course the DMD plays such a huge part of the entire experience because that's where all the scores are. You can't really tell that from the play field, and it has to be in a good location, so you don't really want to be looking up and taking your eyes away from the game play so the fact that it's right there right next to the top of the play field makes it easy to see now this third screen is in fact a small very small little 16 by 9 screen now this is perfect for most of the magic pixel and uh, Zachariah and act games games because they actually use more modern uh, 16 by 9 graphics for the DMDs they're visually very attractive but when you get into some of the more classic pinballs that use that traditional stretch DMD, you are going to have a problem with this screen as the stretch DMD takes up a very small portion of the 16x9 screen. It doesn't fill up the screen and it can be a little hard to see at times. So if there's one real complaint about this, I think the DMD should have been a little bit bigger. I don't know if there's size for it in the back box, but underneath the bigger screen and between the the two speakers but a bigger DMD or a bigger screen for the DMD definitely would have helped. Now one small critique on the back box is on the plexiglass they did apply arc that matches the theme of the table. Now most people like it they don't really have a problem with it most people are saying it's better than having another At Games Legends Pinball 4K logo on it. However, my wife did come in the room the other day and noticed I was playing Jurassic Park and she did say the Adams Family are kind of clash with the Jurassic Jurassic Park pinball uh, backglass that was on the screen. So maybe what At Games could have done here is just leave the plexiglass black around the back box, uh, the back glass screen and the DMD, but it doesn't really bother me. I do get that it bothers some other people. Last thing I do want to mention is if you take a look at the speaker grills on the back box, they all have like an art piece printed on them for different machines. Here on the Adams Family, we get a little spider. It's a cool touch, but one thing I am waiting on is for someone to do some kind of LED speaker mod to it. We just got these expression speakers in the new Stern machines, and I think that's something that would look really cool here. 
So just below the back box at the top of the playfield, you'll notice there's a couple things missing here, and that is the HDMI and USB slots that were on the At Games Legends Pinball HD. This is actually a huge win as these are featured now around the back of the machine. The big reason why is cable management. So with the original At Games Legends Pinball HD, if you wanted to hook up a PC or you wanted to hook up your HDMI cable for the backlash, you had to put it on the front of the machine. You had wires hanging off. Not everybody liked that. This is a much cleaner look where you can put it around the back now. However, keep in mind, you will have to pull out your machine anytime you do want to fiddle around with those cables. The other thing that's a huge plus is on the original, a lot of people had a USB drive sticking out of it because the machine didn't have any internal storage and for you to add games to the machine, you had to have a USB plugged in. Luckily, the At Games Legends Pinball 4K does have internal storage. Now you can still add a USB to it to increase the storage, but to be honest, I have every single game released for the At Games Legends Pinball 4K. I still have about 50% of my storage space left. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Now, once you turn on the machine, you are going to notice there's a completely new UI user interface or GUI graphic user interface for the At Games Legends Pinball 4K. This thing is absolutely beautiful. It features a much cleaner layout, much prettier layout that's easier to use and navigate. A lot of people will say it's very reminiscent of virtual pinball. Um, programs out there such as Pinup Popper, I agree, but personally, I think this is great. I don't care what it looks like or what it acts like or replicates, I just think it works good and it looks good. Now, when it comes to games, the cabinet that I got came with 16 included games. There were 15 games comprised mostly of the Zachariah Deluxe tables and then some other tables, the natural history packs from At Games that At Games collaborated with Magic Pixel on. The 16th game, those are 15, the 16th game, of course, is the title game from Zen Studios, and that is The Addams Family. Now, as this was the first ALP 4K out of the gates, people were originally not very happy with the title game not working very well because when this first released, they were still having some latency issues and the flipper latency on Adam's Family was as high as 138 milliseconds and eight frames. So it made the game feel very unplayable to those familiar with the original table or playing through virtual pinball or playing Zen Adam's Family on a PC. Recently, At Games have released a number of waves of improvements or flipper latency improvements for the Zen Studio games, managing to get it down as low, specifically for the Adams Family, as 90 milliseconds and 5 frames per second. And while some virtual pinball uh, enthusiasts may still feel this is too high as their goal is 60 milliseconds, uh, a lot of people in the community, myself included, feel that the game is playing much better at this point. Adam's family is rocking and rolling. It feels just as good as playing it on my PC or playing it through a visual pinball. So I am very happy with the latency updates. Now the rest of the latency updates for the Zen games, the average seems to be around 80 milliseconds is what they're aiming for. And then it's around four to five frames per second, which puts them in line with the performance of the magic pixel tables. Now, I'm not a scientist, so I don't really get heavy into the whole flipper latency thing, but I do know one. My buddy John Wagner has a website called Wagner's Tech Talk where he has mapped out all the flipper latency numbers for you. So if you want to get a better understanding of how each of the games on the At Games Legends Pinball performs and what the visual fidelity is for the games, go check out John's site. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Now, while the machine comes stock with only 16 games included, there is an online library of different pinball packs you can purchase with over 180 different games that you can add to your At Games Legends Pinball 4KP. Now, what companies do you say are offering these virtual pinball tables? Well, it's kind of all of them. We've got Fairsight Studios releasing their Gottlieb library. Of course, we've got Magic Pixel and all the Zachariah and Zachariah Deluxe tables, plus the tables that Magic Pixel and At Games worked on together, such as the uh, Natural History Pinball Packs, the Taito Pinball Packs, and most recently, 
the Dr. Seuss pinball packs. And last but not least, the biggest name in the virtual pinball space, Zen Studios have brought their excellent tables from Pinball FX and Pinball M to the At Games Legends Pinball 4K. Now keep in mind, not every single game from their libraries is available for the At Games Legends Pinball 4K, but more seem to be coming every month and hopefully at some point they will get up to have the full library. What's huge for me about this is I'm personally really invested in Zen Studios Williams recreations. I of course love original pinball machines recreated to play virtually. That's my jam. That's what I'm really here to play. So I mainly focus on playing the Williams games. I also play some of the Farsight Studios Gottlieb and when I play Zachariah, I do tend to play the original Zachariah games, although a lot of them are older <laughs> electromechanical tables, little outside my realm of enjoyment. I'm more of a 90s guy, but there's lots of real pinball machine recreations for you to play on this machine. But if you do like video game pinball, there is a lot to play. Of course, the new stuff that At Games is working on with Magic Pixel, they're all very, very good. Of course, Magic Pixel, sometimes it's a little busy, but the games still play really well and look great on the 4K P. Then we get into the Zen Studio stuff, and they're probably the masters of making these new video gamey pinball. There's some really good ones that we already have on this machine. The Godzilla vs. Kong pack, Back to the Future, uh, E.T., Jaws, all these new tables, Jurassic Park, all look great, play great. Of course, they're not original pinball tables, but they're still fun to play on this machine. Now, one last thing, all the games look fantastic on this machine. They're all in 4K, they all look beautiful, except with one asterisk, and that is the Zen Studios games. The Zen Studio games, aren't exactly in 4K. Most of them are coming in at 1440p. So they're about half the resolution of what you would want for true 4K enjoyment. But I still have to say they really look good. The, the table graphics look sharp. The rails look good. There's no jaggies, nothing like that. So even though it's not 4K, it's still a beautiful experience on this machine. So anyways guys, that's my look at the At Games Legends Pinball 4K P, and I gotta say, I really, really like this machine. It's probably my favorite home arcade product of 2024. I know that's not a very hard race to win, but that doesn't take away from how good this machine actually is. The quality, uh, the games that you can play on it, the fun factor, everything's there. At Games did a great job. I love the art. I love the fact that they now have almost every single library of virtual pinball games that you can add and play to this machine. There's very few faults that I actually have with it. I mean, the software kind of failed it in the beginning with the flipper latency on the Zen Studios games. That's much improved right now. The community is really enjoying the experience and I am too. So much fun to play these Zen Studios games the way they should be played. There's some other gripes that I had about it with the art being a matte finish instead of glossy. I thought that was a little bit of a weird choice and the DMD is a little bit small, but other than that, I think this is a fantastic product. The other thing people are gonna complain about, of course, is the price. I mean, this is a premium price home arcade product. It's in that uncomfortable region of $1,000 and over, coming in at $1,500 in the US for the package that I got, $2,000 Canadian. But one thing I will say to that, if you went out and tried to recreate what At Games put into this machine and did, build your own 4K machine, I don't know if you'd be able to do it for the same price. If you go out and look at most of these 4K pinball builds, they're a lot of money, so kudos to At Games for being able to do this and putting out at a price that <laughs> is somewhat reasonable compared to other 4KP builds. Wish it was a little bit cheaper for everybody, but I kind of understand. Anyways, guys, that's everything for this video. I know some people are probably going to be disappointed. I didn't get into OTG hooking up a PC. I didn't get into BYOG and especially the, you know, standalone VPX that people are doing. 
there just really is too much going on with this machine. I mean, with the machine itself, all the games being added, the updates, it's taken me forever to actually collect my thoughts and try to do a review on it. And I didn't want to get that stuff mucked down. I haven't really had time to play with it yet. So look forward to the future for me covering both those topics. I'm in the process right now of setting up my OTG. I've been in touch with Mystery Encoder. I've got my VPX standalone. So I'm going to be doing a lot more work in the near future on those things. And I'll come back and give you some opinions on those. But in the meantime, there's lots of great people out in the community. Guys like half a dozen... Uh, Chaotic BPR, Bob Brad's Gaming that have done tons of videos on the stuff. Go check them out in the meantime. Anyways, guys, in the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on the At Games Legends Pinball 4KP. Do you own one? What do you think of it? Or if you're on the fence about one, let me know what you think about it after seeing my review. Anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. This is Michael B. The Game Genie. I'll talk to you next time.